Well, the eyes of the nation are on Wisconsin. History Two, will seven, be made eight. tomorrow when voters head to the polls in the recall yeah. election. And joining us on this election eve are Republican strategist and radio host Brian Schimming with us here in the studio. Good to see you, Brian. Good to see you. Great to be here. And joining us from downtown Madison on the Democratic side is John Nichols, the national correspondent for the nation. I think they're still getting we'll get John to him in just a second. Mic'd up. There oh, there he is. There, is. Is. there he is. Hi, He's ready to go. <laughs> Thank you to both of you for doing this I'm with ready us tonight. To go, although I will tell you, I'm, I'm not. I'm I'm, I try not to be on, on uh, one partisan side so much. I will uh, tell you that our paper has endorsed Tom Barrett. Okay. okay. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Well, it's, guys, it's going to be all about turnout tomorrow. So let's start with you, Brian. And what, uh, how are both of your respective camps feeling about the get out the vote effort? Very, very good. In fact, we passed 4 million phone calls statewide today. We have 25 volunteer centers going across the state of Wisconsin, which we ordinarily in election year would do, would start about April or May, and we started them back in November and December all over the state. So we've had over 4 million calls, 200,000 over the weekend alone. Uh, the response, I've been traveling the state pretty extensively, and the response has been terrific. Interesting, um, at several of the places I've stopped, I've had multiple volunteers uh, tell me there as I've gone table to table, I've never done anything like this before. And I think this recall has really, for our side, for all the protests at the Capitol and all the early coverage of what's gone on, I think it's motivated our side uh, perhaps a lot more than it has theirs if you look at the polling in terms of the intensity of uh, Walker supporters versus uh, Barrett supporters. And I'm sure, John Nichols, you disagree with that statement? No, I don't disagree at all. I think that's exactly right. I think that uh, recall, I love recall elections. I think they're great. They uh, energize democracy, they get people highly engaged, and I think there's absolutely no question that uh, Republicans and Democrats are as mobilized as I've ever seen them. Uh, it's an, it, I've been in the last uh, 48 hours in Rhinelander, Green Bay, Racine, Burlington, Baraboo, uh, all over the state. Every place I have been, I have seen the largest crowds, uh, in, in this case, uh, all these places uh, for uh, recalling Scott Walker. The largest crowds I've seen in covering politics in the better part of uh, 30 years in this state. Uh, and I know that, uh, that Brian will tell you that at events he's been at, he's seen some of the largest crowds. So uh, I think Wisconsin is in a hyper-mobilized point. I think it's comic to suggest that uh, we have anything but a very, very close race uh, where both sides are fighting it like crazy and we're going to get, uh, we'll get a result tomorrow. And, and the interesting thing is that both campaigns have uh, put their recount lawyers on alert. And I think there's a reason for that, that there is a sense that we could have a very close result on Tuesday. You just read my mind about that. Uh, I, John, I was just going to ask you that. Both sides have retained recount lawyers. So does that mean we should prepare ourselves for a long summer? I hope not. Uh, having well, helped run Dave Prosser's I, recount, I I'd, I'd hate to see the state dragged through certainly an unnecessary recount. If it's if it's close, uh, there may will there may well be one. But the governor has said, Governor Walker has said the whole time he thought this would be close at the end. And I, I always say we've been kind of tortured by good news on our side because you see all these public polls that say that he's ahead. But the bottom line is, as, as I always say, and I know John would agree with this, uh, the only good poll uh, is the one on election day that shuts down at 8 o'clock that night. John? Yeah. Well, I think that uh, that's exactly right. The fascinating thing was that uh, Scott Walker had a massive money advantage in this race. There's simply no doubt of that. And he had a massive advertising advantage. And so until you started to see a little bit of parity in advertising in the last week, it was logical that he was going to have some significant polling advantage. In the last week, you've seen things close according to internal polls and external polls. And my sense is that we're heading toward a really close election. What's fascinating to me is where the votes are likely to come from. There's an immense focus on Milwaukee, and everybody's talking about turnout there, and also, frankly, in the Milwaukee suburbs. But I'm going to be looking a lot at, of course, Dane County, this area, uh, and also at the far north. Uh, it's interesting that both Tom Barrett and Scott Walker have spent a lot of time in the last 72 hours in places like Superior and Rhinelander, uh, communities that don't always get a lot of attention. I think that's because both campaigns realize that they're probably going to maximize their bases, and now they're looking for the outstate places that can be swing areas to see which way they go. And Brian, quickly, what areas are you going to be looking at tomorrow? 
Uh, similar, but places like Racine County for us, the collar counties around Milwaukee. Yes. Of course, the Democrats will be uh, looking at Milwaukee and Dane County as well, That's but certainly the Upper Fox Valley for us, one, uh, the collar two, counties uh, one, two, around Milwaukee. One, two, and uh, yeah. But really statewide, as John says, it's a statewide race. Uh, one thing we don't have to worry about, there's a lot of awareness uh, <laughs> about right. this race. Oh, there certainly yeah. is. <laughs> All right, remember the polls open at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, open till 8. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. It's all going to be about turnout. Thank you, sir. Thank Thanks to both of you. Thank we you really so much. appreciate it.